Okay, all my TLC fans were in for a big treat. If you were a fan of Before the 90 Days on the 90 Day Fiance franchise, Caleb is here. You remember Caleb of Caleb and Alina. I mean, they were showstoppers on this past season of Before the 90 Days. Now, you know, I think at this point, obviously, Caleb, we all know, like the storyline was cut short. Alina had the racist post. We'll talk about that. But first and foremost, um... I was obsessed with you guys. I, I wanted to see how it ended. Um, but how are you doing? You know, obviously the season is passed. Um, how overall, how are things going? So life is going great. Like, I think when you hop on TV, everyone will tell you, like, look, get prepared for a wave. Like, you don't know what to expect. And I was told that. But then when it hits, <laughs> you realize even expecting that, you don't know what's coming. So, you know, that big wave hit. Now with the show wrapping up, it's cooling down a bit. I feel like life is more normal. And I'm enjoying it. I'm doing well. So, you know, it's interesting to me. And what's interesting to me about this season's Before the 90 Day cast, whether it's Ben, whether it's Memphis, you know, a lot of them go on social media and ask people Mm -hmm. to be nice, to be respectful. And, Mm -hmm. you know, personally, I have mixed feelings about that because I think if you put yourself on TV, especially now in 2020, you know that even it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to really know the truth or the real you. And it's almost like you put yourself out there for fodder. But I say that, and yet I have never been, you know, I'm on TV as like a contributor, but I've never been on there showing my life. What is your take? Does the hate bother you? Uh, Do you, do you like to put out messages saying, hey, be nice and respectful, or do you, you don't care? Anything goes. So I get both perspectives. Um, I signed up for this show before watching it, and then I started to watch it, and I went, oh, wow, this is what I just signed up for. Because some of the people on there they, they, they have a look, you know, they do some stuff where you can't look away. And so I was taken aback and I'm like, what did I just commit to? But then I realized with reality television, people are only seeing a portion of your life. You know, you can only see so much in a 40 minute episode or hour, whatever they are. So it, it got me through realizing people who are actually going to give you respect will know this is just a piece of your life yes. and it's not a holistic representation. Oh my God. So that's healthy move forward. But at the same time, it's a war of attrition. Over time, even though you signed up for it and know what you're in for, it eventually does get old. And if you have stress in life and then all of that on top, some days you're like, okay, I I want positivity. I want a good post. I don't want to always have everything I do be filtered through memes and negativity. But that's part of the fun at the same time, I guess. Like It keeps people talking and it gives you a an alt perspective of what people might think of you outside of your own window. All right, let's go back for people because, you know, your your storyline was abruptly cut short, right? Like we were yeah. all invested. You two were the fan favorites, right? And and um, Alina is Russian. You know, she, she, I guess, did she label it as dwarfism? Like what, how did she label, um, or how did the show label it? I'm hearing some distortion. I want to make sure my phones are not dying. Yeah, I know. I hold on here. Okay, yeah. No, we're good. I don't know where that came from. So, yeah, she, I mean, she's technically disabled. She, she wouldn't shy away from, you know, admitting that. Um, She has dwarfism. I can never pronounce the specific um, version of it, Um, but it is different than some other people have. Um, I don't, I don't want to speak ignorantly here, so I'm not going to say too much. Um, But she doesn't really let it bother her. She's very empowered despite that. And she's always been forthcoming with these are my limitations. I, you know, Oh my God. And she's beautiful. I mean, she's a model. She's a singer. I mean, you know, so take us back. How did you guys initially meet? You started out really kind of as friends, right? And then you, you developed this romantic relationship. And then I want to know like who, how you guys, did you, did she pitch you for the show? Did you pitch? So tell us first how you guys met and then how you got on the show. Yeah. So we were friends on Facebook. This is before all the bot accounts were out there, before every ad was some person trying to sell you, I don't know, webcamming or something, like when real people were on there. And she added me and she was saying, she was saying, hey, I'm trying to learn English. So we started talking and we got along really well. And I didn't have any foreign friends. It was really interesting. We talked about study abroad, switching places and living in each other's homes, but that never actually happened. Ah. But, you know, we kept in touch on and off. You know, every few years we'd reconnect, happy birthday, talk about where we are now. Jump forward, I don't know, a 
decade or so. And I was actually traveling. I was living abroad and I was looking to go somewhere new. And I don't know why, no idea, but Russia was on my radar. I'm like, this sounds like a fun place to be. Maybe it was the snow. I think Russian is, <laughs> Russia is seen as like a really snowy place. And Arizona, I have no snow. It's a desert out here. You have to go to the mountains for a little bit if you want that. So <laughs> snow to me, that would hook me. Yep. I, I'm easy in that sense. Tell me you have snow and I'll come out. So <laughs> I was on a dating platform and Alina popped up and it was just small world. Like, oh, I, I know this girl. So if I went out to Russia, she would show me around. She's like, I know the sites. And, you know, we already knew each other. So it, it just worked. And I was like, this would be great. I'll have a friend out there. I didn't actually make it to Russia. They have really <laughs> heavy requirements for visas. But we started keeping more in touch. It was after a good that. thought. It was a good thought. We were going to go for the snow. Yeah. So you guys, okay, so you guys stay in touch after that. And then when did you first meet in person? Where was that and when? That was Turkey. That was Turkey. Wow. So you know, things progressed a little bit. We're like, okay, we like each other. We should see if this works. And then Turkey happened. Like I would go to visit her, but Russia's borders were closed at that point. So that didn't work. So we went to a middle ground, which was Turkey. And that's what you saw on the show. That was our first meeting. You know, we'd only, you know, talked before an occasional video call and all that. So yeah, the first in person. Okay. But but obviously before that you communicate with night. I mean, how did you get on the show? And I mean, producers must have seen your storyline and been like, Oh my God, we don't even need a second fucking interview. I mean, you guys are like in. You know, I mean, who how who pitched you? It was quick. It, it yes. was quick where I'm like, You guys are real? television gold. <laughs> yes. I mean, you were TV gold. So Alina said, hey, we should go on 90 Day Fiance. And I'm like, okay, you know, we all have dreams. You know, why not? I'm not going to say no. But in the back of my head, I'm like, this isn't going to go anywhere. Like, we're both normal people. And she she applies. And suddenly I'm getting emails back. Yeah, we want to do an interview. Let's Let's talk. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna say yes to the universe, and I just went with it. Wow. And suddenly, it was official, and this was happening. And then I watched the show and started to actually <laughs> take more seriously what I was in for. <laughs> you really? I mean, did anybody advise you at this time, like your friends, your family, when you said, "Oh, I mean, 90 Day Fiance is one of the most popular shows on television." Did any of them say to you, "Dude, what did you just sign up for?" My friends aren't big reality TV people. And you know, in, you have you. NDA. So early on, you're not telling everyone, hey, we're going on this show. So no one really knew. And at the same time, my friends who were like involved, like you saw some of them on the show, they weren't watching this anyways. So even though I watched some episodes, I didn't understand this was wow. probably one of the largest TLC shows out there and one of the one of the biggest reality shows in general. Now, did you ever feel like your relationship with Alina and a romantic side was ever genuine because truly the first time you guys were together and physical, I mean, there were cameras following you, right? So did you feel like once you got there to Turkey, like, oh my God, this is just, this is weird. Or were you like, no, I really want to see where this is going. But by the way, we got this production crew. How'd you feel? It does add a little different of a dynamic having a crew there. Is this, yes. you know, you and her plus mini <laughs> yeah. but i mean even if we didn't have any crew even if it was just her and i you would still have elijah so it's like really what's you know what's a whole crew after he's there too oh my god talk to me about elijah you know elijah also took on this character of himself right did you do you like elijah did you like him as a person or not really so elijah he's he's a big persona yes. and once you realize it's it's well intended and it's just, you know, what he does, you know, who he is, you get along with him a lot better. Because a lot of people ask me, they're like, Elijah seems like so much to handle. And he is. But it's well-intentioned. It's just kind of you know, his version of the mask he wears. Because you all have some mask or another. His is just very, like, diva, very, um, you know, RuPaul, you know, if you will. <laughs> okay. And Elijah, obviously, I mean, you know, he loved Alina. He was attracted to you. I mean, did you cut what? happened did you guys all hook up like did you have this hot sexy threesome that they never got to show us like what happened oh yeah that's the director's cut yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait did you guys all hook up i can't remember what was the story because there was some drama no, there right no no elijah probably would like to you know that's what everyone yes saying. he really and, wanted like, he gave me a lot of attention and it's and that's what made it all so weird it's like i'm here to see alina and elijah you're cool 
but this isn't this isn't you and me. It's me and Alina, and I think he also fed off that. Not not in like a, a weird way too much, but he definitely his persona is like, well, you know what? I don't mind expressing myself here. So, you know, there was a little bit of feeling Elijah's energy the whole time. <laughs> he was like in love with you. It was great. It was it was perfect. But, you know, the, for us as the viewer, we only saw you guys three episodes in, three or four episodes in, and then abruptly your your storyline is cut, right? So obviously, I mean, you guys had filmed the whole thing. You know, we don't know. I mean, we know from what we read on the blogs, but we don't know, like, what happened to your storyline. So fast forward a bit, because, you know, obviously there's a period of time after you guys get done filming, they edit before it comes out, right? Yeah. So during this time, were you and Alina still together? Like, how long did you guys actually date? How long did we actually date? I would need a calendar to tell you that. Um, so what was the original question? We, we kind of went off to a few well, things there. Well, you know, there was such a, there's such a period of time, right? Because w- w- as the viewer, we're like, basically we see Elijah, we see you guys hanging out. And then like the next episode, you guys are completely gone from the show. Right. Which we know of course, is these, yeah. these posts surface that were Alina's and um, you know, and I'm going to ask you about that, but I wondered like in, you know, in between that time, how long were you guys together? Because the show, let's say, films for a month or two, right? And then they're they're editing it for three or four months, and then it comes out. So there's this long period of time. So were you guys still together during all that time, uh, anticipating the show coming out? Got it. I see what you're asking. Um, I think after meeting in person, we figured out who we were shortly after. Okay. And, you know, Alina... I think she said on her own that we're still friends, which we are. She did on her but, yeah, on her YouTube channel, right? Because you guys are not together. She she put that out. She said you guys speak, you speak less mm-hmm. frequently, and you're no longer together. Mm-hmm. So is that true? Yeah, I took I took more time myself to say anything official, just to see where things played out with respect to uh, privacy and everything. And yeah, we we went apart, you know, as you see on that show, you know, as our arc wraps up. And I think taking that time apart helped us realize that. We do appreciate each other and we want to maintain that friendship because that's very important, but we didn't feel the drive to bring it back romantically. Sure. So that separation helped us redefine it as friends moving forward. And we still talk, we get along, but that's where we're at. So how did you find out uh, that you that you guys were going to be edited out and that Alina had these posts, right? And I mean, I think at this point, everybody knows, you know, there were some derogatory things towards Asian people. The N-word was posted. So, you know, I think everybody universally is not okay with that. But how did, I mean, did the producers call you? Did Alina call? Like, how did you find out? Yeah. So, I mean, in terms of being cut from the show versus, you know, that particularly versus a post, I found out just like everyone else did. There were rumors online at first, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm watching these rumors. And then the official post came out where TLC did announce we were being cut. I think they said we're going to start to not appear you know, in February or something like that. And so I had no real context. I'm just watching like you guys are. And it was, it was disappointing, but I understand you know, how actions had to be taken. But I was there just like you, wondering what that meant for next week. Oh, how did, I mean, you know, what happened when, like with Alina, did they, so did, they never got you both on the phone or did they get Alina on the phone and say, you know, if you put out an apology, you guys can stay on the show. Was that ever discussed or was it just like, okay, we see these, these old posts, people are, you know, backlashing. That's it. Well, I can't speak to any of that. You know, I can tell you we're in different time zones. So even Alina and I, one-on-one trying to connect can be very tough because we both work and have lives. But it wasn't like, you know, Alina and I would have these coordinated calls with production and get updates on everything. It's, like I said, it, it came, took me by surprise. Yeah. And I think it surprised her too, but... I can't speak to anything like leading up to that conversation wise. Did, um, did, when you were with Alina, did you ever see any of that? Did you ever feel like she was racist? Did, were the posts a surprise to you, um, knowing her as a friend and then kind of dating? You know, yeah, people ask me that. They're like, how, how did that come out? How did no one know? And it's because I never witnessed that in her. I mean, those posts were from a while back. I've only seen her be a very, a generous and loving person to everyone. And she doesn't think that way in terms of any sort of racism. 
know, she really is someone who's about equality, herself being disabled. Yeah, sure. So they took me by surprise. And I was like, where did these come from? How did I miss this? But then I look back and they're from many of them a decade ago. Yeah. And not to say that's right by any means. Like those posts shouldn't have been made. And my heart goes out to anyone who was hurt by them. But I just want people to understand that's not the Alina I came to know. And I think she's remorseful that those ever existed back in her former years. I know. It, it, and it, right, How many shows? I mean, so many people are gra- grappling with this, right? And even Mike oh. from before the 90 days, there was something he posted years ago that, you know, and that got some controversy too. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, how did Alina feel? I mean, was she so upset about it? Like, I'm, I'm assuming you guys probably talked after. Um, was she, how did she feel? Was she really brokenhearted about it too? Yeah, she definitely, I mean, for one, it wasn't just about her being cut from the show. It really was the fact that she she hurt people as a result. Yeah. Because that was never her intent. It, I would say it was, it was naive. It was innocent fun just because she, for whatever reason, didn't realize the implications. And so she was very embarrassed, for one, that she didn't know better at the time. So it really hurt her that she would hurt other people, and it was tough to to realize to see powerful consequences of of doing that right so it and so she was yeah a little heartbroken i would say so you guys at this point you know when when you realize the storyline is going to be cut right i mean you you weren't together at that time anyway and if the show had fully played out would we have seen that did you guys as the show ended part ways or were you guys kind of still together when the show ended we part ways or we're still together Ask me that again. Well, you know, like, um, okay, so, like, before the night, or at the end of it, like, before you guys get to the tell-all, right? Like, we kind of, we knew Mike and Jimena had broken up. Like, was your storyline at the end dramatic? Like, had you two broken up, or had you guys stayed together? What were we going to see? Well, <laughs> so here's the thing. People ask me what we're going to see. I have no idea. I'm watching this like you guys are. You're like, I don't know how the hell it was going to play out. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I, I forgot I even said that. So it's it's an experience for me as well whenever yeah. I watch the show. I mean, I'll tell you, I mean, that is that is how it, it went in the sense that we took time apart and had to reevaluate you know, sure. what this meant, what it, what it could be. Was it worth pursuing? You know, two weeks, I don't think it's enough to get to know someone. And it's like, it's a lot of weight, a lot of effort, money and time to go out, fly out again somewhere to try a part two. And would that change anything? Would that give us more security? And we had to really evaluate that. So and you saw a good depiction. So did you guys film a to- You filmed a total of about two weeks in Turkey. And that was like as long as you had to sort of see if there was chemistry. Uh, let's see. I can't tell you the exact time. But yeah, we didn't have a ton of time together. Like if I were to decide if I was going to be with someone, I would date them for more than enough time to decide. Yeah. I want to make the decision under fire. I think that's what I tell Alina on there as well. Like, I, I need more time. I can't, with integrity, give you a decision here. If you're pushing for that, it's, it's got to be no. Yeah. All right. Well, let's fast forward to the tell-all. The tell-all was juicy. You know, it was good. I mean, all the couples were yeah. so interesting. Um, did you talk to producers? Was there Were they considering bringing you on to talk about it, or was that just not an option? So, I mean... You watched the tell-all. Oh, I, I feel love- like I dodged some bullets. <laughs> it was it was intense. It was like intense. I wasn't there, and I was wondering, like, oh, what am I missing? And then I watched it. I'm like, I might have <laughs> missed no. this for the better. It's intense. I was sweating, even though I wasn't in the hot seat. But I would say the reason being, I mean, it wouldn't be fair to have me on there and have them show segments and ask questions without Alina being able to give her own input or stand up for herself good point so you know i understand that decision completely i think it may have been done in the past but that's different scenarios so yeah it i understand yeah that was no that's that's a fair point um you know you obviously on social media it's no secret you talk to mike you talk to jasmine and and gina i mean you talk to other members of other cast members. Um, So watching that tell all, and you know, you do have some inside info because you know these people personally, who are the couples that you think are going to make it? We're going to make it. Ooh. So my money's on Jasmine and Gino. Really? You watch them on that show. They have so much conflict. You'd be like, no way, but they always come back together. And that ability to resolve conflict, to work through it, 
I think speaks a lot for their character, you know, despite the surface level antics that sometimes pop up. Yeah. At the core, they, they want to make it work. And then who else do we have? Okay, well, um, we have Memphis and Hamza. And, you know, we know they're shooting another show for TLC. So everybody's very tight-lipped. I mean, you know, it seems like they're not together. Uh, but what did you think? Did you ever meet them in person or interact much with them? I mean, I thought their storyline was so sad. Like, at the, you know, when he was so heartbroken when she had to go back. I don't know. I mean, I liked them as a couple. But I liked everybody as a couple. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I did not talk to them as much. Like, I love Hamza. We talked a little bit. We, different languages made that challenging to communicate as much as it would with other cast members. So that's the main reason he and I haven't talked more. But he would reach out now and then and be like, so help me out with this on social media. I don't get this. And I would tell him this or that, be like, oh, cool. And so we would have some good exchanges and I would help him out here and there. Memphis and I never really talked. I don't yeah. think we hit it off in the same way as I did with other people. So I can't really speak too much to them. What about Ben and Mahogany? And and you know what? What did you think? I mean, you know, there's been a lot of discussion that Mahogany's an actress. The the apartment there that was, um, you know, rented and it was an Airbnb. I mean, do you, what do you think? I mean, do you think she was genuine to an extent with Ben? So I was shocked that she was a real person. Like I was watching were- this in real time. And I'm like, okay, so how long are we going to watch Ben sit here with his drink until he just figures out that this isn't going anywhere? And then she walks in. It's like, wow, who would have known? Um, so it was an interesting story. Um, I can't really speak too much of Mahogany. I haven't talked to her as much as I would like. She only popped up on Instagram, I want to say, like a month or two ago. So she hasn't had as much of a presence as other people have. Yeah, she no, she hasn't. And what about, I mean, but, you know, actually, I, I really liked Ben a lot more at the tell-all. And I, I like him yeah. since on social media. I think he's, he just, I think, unfortunately for Ben, they, the storyline came out. I mean, he seemed so desperate. You know, it was like, every, you know, you're yelling through your television. Like, Ben, leave, leave. <laughs> She's not into you, you know. But, um, but Ben seems like a good person. Is he one that you've stayed cl- in touch with or close with? Ben, to me, seems very well-intentioned. I could say that he and I talk here and there. We both do a lot of fitness. So we have that in common and we'll talk about that now and then. So I can relate on that front. And, you know, I think he really is trying to do his best. So despite any like negativity people have towards him, it's like, I think there's a good heart there beneath it all. I mean, Ben is hot. Like you're a good looking guy too. Like you're hot. Ben is hot. I'm like, those, you guys are going to be fine. And I want to ask you all about who you're dating now. But anyway, <laughs> but you know, in a way, I do think you got lucky because look at Mike. I feel like Mike started out another fan favorite. Everyone loved him. And by the end, <laughs> I mean, my God, everyone hated the man. They were like, leave Jimena alone. I mean, what do you think about Mike? Is Mike a genuine person? Is Mike a genuine person? So, man, I wish I knew Mike more in person. I've only talked to him over social media. I've always got good vibes from him. So I think he might just be a bleeding heart where he's like, I don't want to give up too soon. I'm going to put this effort in because that effort is worth it versus walking away and missing out. So I think from the outside, it's easier to be like, come on, man. You know, us who might have more relationship experience or have been in things longer term. But, you know, Mike is trying. And so I got to respect that effort. Um, okay, final couple. I mean, did Ella ever try to have sex with you? Because I think if Ella got anywhere near you, she would be trying to get in your pants so hardcore. I mean, you know, that I love Ella was my favorite. I mean, good for you, gal. Like, she was out there and she's like, Johnny, if I can't see you in three weeks, I'm fucking like whoever I find. Like, I mean, she, I love her. I, I, <laughs> did, did you ever meet poor Johnny? I mean, you know. Poor Johnny. But I have not met Johnny. I wish he made it to the States. That would be so interesting. I love and that's him. the challenge. Like when you haven't met in person, it's like, is this going to work out? That's that's where I see a challenge, not having met. Ella, we, we talk a lot. Do not, you? Not so much ongoingly, but she and I probably talked the most early on. Oh, my God. I love it. Just about social media and, and life. We kind of hit it off in that respect. But, no, there hasn't been too much flirting <laughs> like you're saying or anything like that. I haven't, I haven't felt worried. <laughs> you, you wait. You wait. No, look. Okay, let's get to it. You're hot. You work out. You're a good-looking guy. You're young. I mean, are women sliding in your DMs from, from this show? You know, we know you're not you're not exclusive or not dating Alina anymore. What's going on with you? Or, who are you dating? You look amazing. Oh, well, thank you. My, I didn't even do my hair today. Um, yeah, it's, 
it's a spot where you do get a lot more attention after being on TV. Yes. It's, it surprises me how many people do reach out and I get recognized. Like I went to downtown Phoenix the other week with a friend. It's late at night. I think like four people recognize me. This is a lady at the bar beside me who keeps looking up over her shoulder. I'm like, this lady is trying to figure out where she knows me from. So it's, that's always entertaining. So, you know, I remember talking to Mike at one point and he was, you know, going over like, you know, what's, what's all this mean, you know, during, you know, back and forth with Jimena. And I'm like, you know, with anyone here, Mike, like no matter how things go, you're, there's always a future. People recognize you. People want to meet you. They see your character. So don't, don't feel like it's all or nothing. I mean, okay, but you got to tell me, are you dating anybody? I mean, you didn't answer our question. We, we got to know you're hot. Am I dating anyone? <laughs> I, I, am as Lena has revealed, I'm single. We are not going out her and I anymore. So I'm meeting people. I want to see what works out. So say hi if you see me downtown. Um, you know, we will. Okay, last question for you. There has been a lot of people, you know, of course, everybody's got their opinions, but people are lobbying for you to be on The Single Life. Do you want, do you have any interest? Would you continue? I mean, as a guy who didn't really watch the 90 Day franchise, had no idea. Now that you've been on reality TV, would you do it again? Yeah, I've, I've loved working with TLC. It was a great experience. And I learned about Single Life much later. And everyone does ask me that. They're like, would you do Single Life? Would you do more TLC? Are you filming for it? And I would love to. So if that opportunity was there. I'd be all on board. I want to do more with them. So, but ha- but nothing official. There's nothing you can say if that is in the works. If you see it in the news, then we can talk. But you know <laughs> I can't say stuff like this. I, I wish I could give you the tea, as, as they say. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, you know, I never know. Sometimes people slip up and they go, oh, yeah, I'm filming. I'm filming for Single Life. Um, okay. <laughs> well, tell us, you know, tell me now, like, what what is your day-to-day life doing? Are you working on any projects you want to promote? People do love you. I think you do a great job on social media. And, you know, I think you've done a good job of weathering the storm and not letting it get to you because – I just, I feel like these people who go in on you guys, like in these long things, it's like, are you guys fucking idiots? Like, it's a reality show, okay? They have a life. It's edited. I mean, don't we know this by now of 20 years of reality? So tell me this. Is there anything you want to promote? Is there, what's your, you know, anything you're working on? Yeah. I mean, I'll tie this into to everything here because you're asking about the future, more TV. Yeah. My Instagram is where I'm the most active. Okay. I, I work a day job, so I don't have a ton of time to keep up with social media like I would like to. But any updates on what I'm doing, more TV, et cetera, would be on that Instagram. Okay. So follow me there. I'm doing more TikTok content. I'm getting much more into fitness than I was before. I took somewhat of a break. Now I'm getting more in shape. And I'm doing fitness content on TikTok. So if you are someone who wants to see workouts, if you have questions, anything like that, if you're into fitness, follow me there as well. Caleb 90 day on TikTok and Instagram. I love it. Caleb, I mean, I feel like you need to start, just go to like Michigan and go work out with Ben and film. Like then you go to Mike, you go can work out with Mike. I mean, like you could always do Caleb's 90 day fitness, you know? And it's like, let's, let's get our 90 day people back in shape, you know? I mean, not that all of them are out of shape, but Ben is fit. Like he puts me to shame. I looked at Ben on TV. I'm like, I, I need to look like you, man. Ben looks and Jasmine's sexy. big into it too. She and I have been talking. We're like, we need to do some live together and, and talk about our workouts. She's gorgeous too. I mean, Gino hit the jackpot. Gino hit the jackpot. Uh, unreal. Mm-hmm. Um, Caleb, thank you so much for being on the show, for taking time. I know you are super busy. You have a life, you work, uh, but you are terrific. And thanks for being on. Yeah, it's been great, Sarah. I appreciate you asking me. Yeah. 